Okay, hello all. Welcome to the Crow Show. Um, this object followed the last one I posted by about two or two and a half minutes. Um, here you're looking at the vernal equinox, and we have three days to go. Um, and this image that I made some time back, um, the sun in the, in the upper left is the, uh, the equinox that we're going to come through. The one just to the right of that is the summer solstice then the fall equinox, then the winter solstice, and far to the right is again where we're going to be in three days. Um, anyhow, I hope you go outside and appreciate this day of balance. And uh, here comes the object that's going to be top center. This object looks a lot like the last object I posted, almost a twin of it. Um, and again, when I pan the camera, it becomes perfectly round, and I'm guessing that's because I just by chance mat match the speed of the object revealing its true shape. 50% um, speed, contrast and brightness adjustment. Here it comes in again at the top. Now down near the bottom here you'll see the exact same thing when I pan the camera. You get a true peek at the shape of it. It's traveling so quickly that it's kind of a blur and uh, that's a cool thing to remember that I can pan my camera to get a better view of the actual shape. Coming in at the top 50% speed. Uh, we've really zoomed in here and you can see the just the speed blur coming off it. There's the round shape of it. Okay, here I've inverted color and I do this because sometimes it helps pull the edge out, but uh, unfortunately in this view the, all you see is really is the edge of the blur. Now the same night we shot a third object, it comes into the left side of the moon and looks slightly different than these two, um, the last one I posted and this one, um, and I'll probably be posting that tomorrow. And I'm also working on the, uh, the moon hologram clips. Two of the holograms are so crystal clear and quick, they're very difficult to encode on video. And uh, the other two are very distinct, and uh, the only difference between them is that they come from opposite directions but I'll try to address that in the clip. And we're going to get one more view of this object in real time. And I'm going to do a zoom in and try to catch the little spot where he goes round, where my camera pan catches the actual shape. And it comes in at the top, and I'll do a zoom. Oh, I'm, li <laughs> I'm lying to you. I didn't zoom on that one. Anyhow, there's the twin object of the one I posted yesterday. Um, I'll have a third object from the same night of shooting coming, and hopefully in the next couple days I'll be able to get out the, uh, the new hologram edit. Uh, there it is. Cheers.